From Delaware's premier television company comes a new and exciting website, Delaware28.com. On Delaware28.com, you can check on the latest updates on all your favorite shows, around town, city scene, cook to order, product knowledge, and the Tim Call Show. And now you can also enjoy our live feed feature where you too can become a star. So don't delay and get on your computer today and check Delaware28.com. Delaware's premier television programming is now your premier website. Did you get the answer to the trivia question? We're back. Here's the trivia. Here's one of the face cards that we're looking at. The answer was 67, 69, 82 and 93. There were actually four. A lot of people usually miss one of them. Did you get all four? Earlier in the show, we talked about our second trivia question. What year did the Camaro start? What year did it end? And of course, it's coming back for 09 as a new car, but they actually ended for a while. We're a year with half of the answer. The answer was from 67 to 2002. I'm here with Bob, the owner of uh, 2002. Nice to meet you. Thanks for talking to us today. Same here. Good to be with you. Where are you from? Uh, Westchester, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Okay, so a little drive, not too far today. Tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, well, it's kind of a uh, pretty well uh, specialized uh, convertible unit with uh, special uh, tonneau covers in the back, and it's all loaded up with some SLP performance items, a uh, variety of things, and extra. Uh, Unique suspension, F1 suspension. Um, the car is a great driving car, very performance oriented, and uh, as you can see by my sign here, I've been able to take it down to Cecil County Dragway and do some uh, pretty good times with it. Yeah, I was 12, 12, 6. 12, 6, and uh, that was back in 04. It was a good, uh, good night, nice and cool night, so we had uh, low humidity and uh, Great temps and the car breathed well. Boy, 12 6 and it dropped up. I'm sure they bid you a nice day in there and told you you were done after that. That's right, yeah. Once, because uh, you can't take the car uh, faster than uh, 13.5 without, uh, without the roll, roll bar. bar, yeah. Right. Well, did you buy it new? I did. Brand new. What was it? Wanted the car right uh, from a dealer up in, uh, in uh, Newtown Square, the Indian Chevrolet. And a black car with this kind of options and looking good as it does, you you, you do a lot of work keeping up with it. Uh, well, it, it's not a whole bunch of maintenance. The car is pretty much trouble free, but uh, detailing it is is a pretty uh, expensive effort. Keeping it pretty looking, dust free, et cetera, et cetera. Sure, it's hard it's hard to keep black looking this nice when you actually drive the car. Once I carry I carry a California dusters with me wherever I drive. There's a plug for California dusters. Hey, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thanks for bringing it out to the show. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, earlier in the show, we did a trivia question by one of the late model pace cars. We're here going to wrap up the show with a gentleman with a first generation pace car. Tell us your name. Todd Meredith. Todd, where, tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, this is a 1969 big block pace car with air, automatic. Uh, I've had it about a year and a half and uh, pretty much bought it the way it was. I uh, have a lot of fun with the big block. Pulls pretty good. Oh, no doubt. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, partners with the fellow that has this yellow Camaro here, and uh, we have a lot of fun with it. It's obviously being a pace car. It's an SSRS, hideaway headlights, Rosewood steering wheel. Uh, it's got an AM FM stereo in it. Now let's talk about that RSSS. I, you see that, that means that's a rare combination, right? It is, it is. The RS gives you the hideaway headlights, uh, some of the SS trim on here. I think the uh, the air intake on the hood. Um, the, the, typically the stripes, I think, are SS. Um, so yeah, it is an odd combination, but I think all the pace cars are RSSS. Now, options. I've heard rumors as to why the headlights had like the grills and stuff in the headlights. I, uh, you got what? What? You tell me what you've heard. I. <laughs> are the are, are the headlight doors real reliable? They really aren't. I've had uh, they've been re- they've been rebuilt and they work pretty well. But when you own a car like this, you realize real quick that you can just grab them with your hands and pull them open. Okay. So uh, and actually, my son has driven this car. I have also have a Shelby Cobra, and he drives this car. And he's driven home a couple of times with the doors closed, but they have slots in them, so you know the headlights still kind of shine through. That's what I had heard. Why yeah. they put the slot? They that put could the slot be. It, it makes a lot of sense. I didn't know. I figured I'd get a definitive answer. Now I'm looking. There's air conditioning on this car. It is. Uh, with this particular car, 
This is a 396, 350 horse car. Uh, this was the largest uh, motor that they put in this car with, uh, with air conditioning. The, the 375 horse 396 did not have air. Well, I thank you very much, and the cameraman's waving at me. We're running out of time. Thank you very much for talking to us about it today. Be sure to check out our website, crazy. Fourcars.com is crazy, the number four, cars with a Z, dot com. And tell us what you'd like to see on the show. Tell us where you're going to be. We've got a couple events coming up. We've got the Corvette, Corvette Rally in Atlantic City. And we've got the Diverse Concept Show down in Dover. Those two are coming up. Those we know we're going to be at. If you've got an event coming up and you'd like to see crazy for cars .com TV at your event, drop us a note. Send us an email or stop by the website and let us know. Again, thanks for tuning in, crazyforcars.com. We'll see you next time. find out more about our television and video production services, go to our website at www.pausprotv.com.